it's crazy to see just how much an effect DC fast charging has on battery temperature. Hello and welcome to another Dawn Electric video. I'm Evan, and guess what? My ID4 can finally display battery temperature. So we can finally answer the question, is it the car that's at fault for being derated while DC fast charging? Or is it EVgo? Or is it ChargePoint? Or is it Electrify America? I feel like I know the answer to that, at least I have a hunch, but now we've got data for a much higher degree of certainty. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna bring up the car scanner app so that we can check in with where my battery's voltage and temperature are before we leave. And then we're gonna go to either EVgo or Electrify America, the two that I tested in uh, last week's video that really were derating me quite a bit. Uh, the EVgo derated me almost by half of the amperage I should have been getting. Uh, this is something that comes up every time we DC fast charge when I'm derated. Uh, I never know 100% whether it's the charger or the grid connection uh, versus my car's battery being uh, a bit a bit cold. You know, the for the ID4, it runs on the MEB uh, battery platform, uh, as all Volkswagen products do, uh, EV-wise. It is somewhat difficult to find information on what exactly the optimal battery temperature is to garner maximal charging speed. The MEB platform has a thermal management system in place where it does prevent or it tries to prevent the battery from freezing. So it'll warm, up, warm it up to about 45 degrees uh, to ensure that uh, the, battery, the battery itself doesn't freeze. Uh, from there, I've seen some information uh, basically stating that the battery will continue to try to warm itself up to around 77 degrees. Um, on, according to Volkswagen.com, optimal temperature is at least 68 degrees. They say basically above 68 degrees. This is in Fahrenheit. So now with the app open, you can see that my state of charge is just over 10%. Battery voltage is 337, which is actually a little bit low. In fact, that's the lowest that I've seen it. It may just have to do with the fact that we are at such a low state of charge. We're actually now technically under 10%, in fact, if you look there in the center at the top. Battery temperature, which is of major interest for me today, is right around, it's hovering around 60 to 61 degrees. Battery minimum temperature is 59.9. Battery maximum temperature is 61. So we're basically hovering around 60 degrees. The Electrify America that we're gonna go to is about three miles away and I don't plan on yo-yoing there. I'm just gonna drive normal. And then uh, if we can find the dispenser open, which I, which I believe was dispenser number four that we got derated at last time, I'll try to charge at dispenser number four. Before I plug in, I'll bring up the scanner app and we'll we'll take another look at where my values are at uh, immediately before starting that charge. So let's go. All right, so we have arrived at Electrify America and we are ready to charge. Let's check in with the OBD scanner and see where we're at now. So you can see that we're at a state of charge of just over 8%. And our battery temp, our sorry, our battery voltage rather, has dropped just a smidge with that drop in state of charge. We're down to 335 as a voltage. Temperature has actually popped up by about a degree just by driving regular uh, for about four so, four or so miles. Um, we're rocking about 61 degrees Fahrenheit uh, temperature wise. So I was not able to get dispenser number four which was the actual dispenser that i used in my last charger comparison video and uh which derated us uh, i think we maxed out at a speed of 89 kilowatts and we rolled up at a state of charge of 15 percent now normally at state of charge of 15 percent all things being equal uh, i typically max out at around 120 125 maybe 130 kilowatts Today, we're at, we're at eight, nine percent state of charge. Uh, now, voltage is lower than I have seen it, 335. Temperature's a little cool relative to what MEB platform states is optimal temperature for uh, fast charging. Uh, so I'll tell you this, we're gonna get out at dispenser three right here. The interesting thing about dispenser three is that it had been out of order for about two months before being fixed. Um, 
Before we get out, I'm gonna show you how I typically roll up to Electrify America after I find uh, a dispenser. Usually I do this before I actually roll up, I kind of forgot. Um, so here's what I typically do to confirm that, it, that the dispenser I'm at is one that I want to be at. What I like to do is I like to open the Electrify America app first, just to see where I'm at. And uh, I'll locate myself. It says no nearby stations, but that's a lie because we're right here. We're at Seal Beach. Now it says four out of four dispensers available. And we're gonna flip up the screen here. Uh, now, the funny thing is that you can see right off the bat, it says four out of four available, uh, four out of four chargers are available, but when you flip up the menu for the station, <laughs> one, two, three, four dispensers, it says that one is actually in use. It also says that char uh, dispenser one and four are Chatamo, uh, and that's blatantly false. Dispenser number one is Chatamo. Dispenser number four is a dual handle CC CCS dispenser. So that's already interesting. Um, happy to see those mistakes still. It also says that dispenser number four is in use, uh, but the app itself on the front says that four, four out of four dispensers are available even though one is in use. So already confusing and conflicting. We're at dispenser number three. So we're gonna tap on dispenser three and we are going to swipe to start the charge. Now, usually I'd also open plug share. So uh, let's do that too, just to confirm that things are gonna work out for us. Let's locate ourselves. There we are. We're gonna tap on that uh, charger station and we're gonna flick down to see if dispenser number three has had any issues recently. Uh, so a couple days ago, somebody in an ID4 did say that station three is working fine. Okay. And somebody on internet says dispenser number three works fine too. Okay, good, good, good. Now let's go back to Electrify America app. And here's what it says. It says initiating charge. Let's go outside now to see what the menu says. So the menu now outside here on dispenser three does say, please plug in. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna pop open our port, take our flap off. It indicates that both handle one and two are working. So we're just gonna take handle two because it's closest to the car. Pretty nice handshake there, nice clicking. What's the screen say? Connecting to the vehicle. Okay, we're gonna tap continue once here. And moment of truth here. And there's our speed over here. We're at 30, 40, 50 in ramping. We are above 100. I'm not using any bias to guess what a speed might be. Let's just explore what it is. So state of charge, 9%. Battery voltage, 335. Battery temperature, 61 degrees. Volkswagen again says optimal battery temperature is 68 for charging. So even though voltage is a tad low, even though our battery, according to Volkswagen, might be a little cool at 61 degrees, um, that is not bad, 115 kilowatts. That is not bad at all. And honestly, I'm really happy that uh, it's charging well right now. In fact, I just looked over my shoulder and I saw that we're at 117 kilowatts at a current state of charge of 22%. Uh, our charge speed is actually pretty darn good. This is the second time now out of the last three times that I've charged at this Electrify America that I've had a pretty good charge experience. Uh, so this is good. This is good. And it also lets me know that in last week's charging comparison video, at the beginning of it, when I tested the EVgo DC fast charger and it, and it derated me by half the amperage that I thought I should be getting, given my uh, state of charge and voltage, which uh, my state of charge was 15% and my voltage I think was 350. Um, I was thinking that I should be getting about the speed that I'm getting right now, around 120, kil kil uh, 20, 120 kilowatts, but I got 61 kilowatts. And this tells me that given the fact that the ambient temperature, the outside temperature is about the same today as it was a week and a half ago when I did that charger comparison video, um, and given the fact that in that weather, that temperature, my battery is 60 degrees, it, uh, you know, I, and it's still getting pretty good speeds here, I would be willing to bet that the D rating was coming from the EVgo dispenser or the cable or the grid connection and not from my car's battery being too cool. Um, 
I'm not super, <laughs> I'm not super shocked by that. Uh, just given my overall experience at public DC fast chargers. Um, but now I am more convinced now that we have the data right in front of us showing that even though my battery is a little cool uh, relative to what VW says optimal battery temperature ought to be at for optimal DC fast charging, still getting good speeds. So we're just about finished here. I only want to charge up to 50 or so percent. We're at 51 percent. We are at 94 kilowatts. That is very good stability of charging speed. I really like that quite a bit. Um, and so I'm gonna call it a day here, sitting at 52%. So let's go ahead and stop by pressing that little metal button that I love so. so here's our final stats. So in 18 minutes, we went from a state of charge of 9% to 52%. That was good enough for a delivery of 34 kilowatt hours. Uh, and that was free because we're still ro rolling on our Electrify America free deal. So let's go ahead and unplug. Note that that charging indicator is nice and white. And we are back in. We are always putting flaps back on and this time I'm remembering to close my port. Very excited about that. Alright, I'm pretty satisfied today. So I think that one thing that uh, makes me happy is that I have a certainly a, a, cert, a certain degree of certainty now that I know uh, data like battery temperature uh, and voltage. Uh, we were able to hit a maximal charge rate of 120 kilowatts. So uh, I think the last time I checked in, we were at like 118 or something like that. It actually peaked at 120 kilowatts at about 28% state of charge. I just want to check in with the car scanner app just to see what our final stats are. As you know, DC fast charging should warm up a battery. Let's see just how much it warmed up my battery in this 18 minute charge from, uh, what was it, 8% to 52%. Okay, so in the car scanner app, you can see that we're now at a state of charge of 52.58%. I love that, that accuracy. And now look at the battery voltage, 358. Over the course of that 18 minutes, the battery voltage increased from 335 to 358. Battery minimum temperature started at 60. It's now 100. Battery maximum temperature started at 61. It's now at 102. It's crazy to see just how much an effect DC fast charging has on battery temperature. Basically increase the temperature of the EV battery in my ID4 by 67, 68% from 60 to just over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That is wild. It really shows you just how warm charging can make an EV battery. Now I noticed during charging that our our speed first settled at about 113 kilowatts at a state of charge of 8%. And then it slowly started creeping up where it finally uh, peaked at 120 kilowatts by 28% state of charge. Um, and I'm thinking that one of the reasons for that is twofold is that battery voltage was a bit low at the very start. It was 335 and the temperature was a bit low. It was 60 degrees. Then over the course of the first uh, five or so minutes of charging, voltage probably began to rise, as did temperature, and then the battery was able to take a faster uh, speed of charge. Um, so it ended up kind of creeping up from 113 to 115 to 119 and then to 120 finally. It also held that speed um, fairly deep into the pack. Uh, I, I was really happy for that. Uh, even at disconnection it was still charging at a rate i think of 94 kilowatts so really really happy all right guys so if you found any of this interesting i know i freaking did uh please make sure to share and like and subscribe and um, i'm gonna have a lot more videos like this really getting into the nitty-gritty of the data that the ev battery is showing us as we're driving versus sitting versus yo-yoing versus dc fast charging all right guys i'll see you next time <music>